Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I got some Tim Tim news for you. So let's take a look at the uh, Crema website. An early look at the 1.3 and this season's ranked rewards. So let's take a look here. So Crema is predicting that the uh, the launch of this update is going to be roughly around March 6th, but knowing Crema's luck, it could be a little bit later, but it looks like uh, March 6th is what they're aiming for here. So according to the website here they got a challenge mode have you ever considered tim tim to be tough yeah me too but if you manage to make it even tougher the new challenge modes are here to add another layer of complexity for these who love a good challenge extreme limitations and a taste of pure randomness that just sounds like <laughs> that sounds very interesting it almost sounds like a nuzlocke or something let's take a look so these challenge modes will run on a different server and have a different save slot. Oh, that's actually really nice. So I don't have to worry about, oh, right here. You don't have to worry, uh, you will not have, you will not be risking your three-year-old uh, Luma save files in this Nuzlocke. Oh, it is a Nuzlocke, not any Luma. For the matter, there won't be any Luma. Okay, so there won't be any Lumas in this challenge. Oh, they have challenge modes. So let's see, you can only have one challenge run active at any time. So you'll have to finish or abandon your current run or your current one if you want to try another mode. There's no cooldowns or restrictions of any sort. You'll have to be able to drop and restart a challenge run anytime you want. You'll be able to co-op through the challenge mode. That's really cool. I do like that. So you'll at least be able to play with one other friend. Although be aware there will be limitation. Yeah, I figured there would be some limitations, uh, like a limit to timer, uh, tamer level difference, and you won't be able to switch between co-op. and That kind of makes sense. Once you start your run into Nuzlocke and random lock mode, rules will adapt slightly for co-op version. Completing these challenges will grant you really neat and exclusive rewards for your main save slot, the one you normally play on. Except for the rewards, you won't be able to share any anything between your main save and your challenge run. So, okay, it looks like we got the Nuzlocke. So, according to their Nuzlocke, the Nuzlocke mode imposes heavy and hardcore rules on the player. You only get to catch the first two Tims you see per route. One Tim Tim each if you're playing co-op. Okay, there's the co-op exception right there. And any Tim that faints during your adventure will be released. That's stereotypical for a Nuzlocke. After the battle, Tims you catch won't have any fertility left. Ah, they got you right there, guys. So there won't be any uh, breeding these extras in into existence. So no breeding, and you can lose if all your Tims are... Yeah, that's that would make sense. We, of course, have tweaked some previous impossible battles, so it would really be a matter of skill. So the next mode they got is Random Lock. Chaos. We like chaos. Almost anything that can be random will be random in the Random Lock mode, which shares the rules of the Nuzlocke mode. From Tim Tim, including your starters and quest obtained Tims. To techniques, items gathered around the world, NPC squads, untamed encounters, the only thing that will remain as natural uh, naturally are for mostly technical reasons we will be Tim Tim species with their stats and uh, evolutionary lines their traits and gear this way Tim's will remain part of their identity even in the chaotic challenge mode so it sounds like they try to balance the game while not trying to balance it try to keep it random I, I do like that we'll see how well that actually turns out but we'll see and then this seems to be a really popular thing, or at least it's got my attention recently, is the speed running. In speed run mode, your goal will be clear the game as fast as possible. There will be a timer for sections, one for each island, and a general timer. That will be visible at all times. Loading times won't be counted, and the game will skip anything and everything that will be skipped. But you still have to battle your way through the entire story. If you manage to beat the game before the time goal, You'll be in for some sweet rewards and speedy rewards in your main save. Can you beat the clock, Tamers? I really like the whole idea that they're actually rewarding your main account because 
it's just like another kind of like, hey, I did this and kind of boast, you know, kind of bragging rights here. Challenge modes will be covered in depth in the patch notes. Okay, so once the once March 6 or whenever the, the actual patch drops, we will get further details. But yeah, I'll give you guys uh, some more details once the patch notes comes available. So let's uh, dive into here. And it looks like we got a new area, Nanto Labs. The doors of the Nanto Labs will be open to all curious tamers in 1.3. Inside, you'll be able to exchange your Lumas for a very sus new currency called Luma Drops. Interesting. The amount of Luma Drops you'll receive for each Luma will depend on the Tim Tim species and rather or not you're the OT for them or the soul bound to them. The more you want, the more you'll have to sacrifice. Such are the laws of equivalent of exchange. So, sounds like there's like a new currency. I don't know if I like that or not. I, I, gotta, I gotta see what it actually looks like. So, a new currency, Luma Drops. If you're one of like the six tamers that have more Lumas than they want, 1.3 is the update for you. Exchange your Lumas for, for Luma Drops, which in, uh, which in turn can be used in a brand new shop to purchase previously on... Ah, here we go. Unpurchasable items like special dies that can be used in the shops and more Tim Card X. We'll continue adding stock to the Luma Drop shop in the future. Okay. Okay. That totally makes sense now. I, I definitely I, I want to see more of this, but I, I do like how they're bringing back old items that just can't be bought now. So... That is kind of that is kind of expensive still <laughs> finding a Luma, but we'll see. So season two rank rewards. Take a look at all the flashy new rewards for the rank performance this season. Sword theme to match the medieval vibe of days of yore. These rewards will be given out when the season two ends and season three begins. Especially on March 6th, you'll have the time to grind the ladder if you want to aim it. A bit higher. Remember that you'll obtain the title that displays the highest rank you achieve, a seal for each rank you achieve, and a banner for each rank you achieve. Also, remember you need to have won 10 games and a rank to be considered part of it. And then let's uh, play the let's play the clip real quick. As with every change of season, TMR will be soft reset once season two ends. This means your TMR won't fall to zero or to 1000, but rather to a middle point where your TMR at the moment and 1000. A new season, of course, new patch and new season go in hand in hand whenever possible. Days of Yore comes to an end and gives way to season three called Clash of Tamers with it. a Tamer Pass full of new cosmetic surprises, mounts and emotes, and a heap of new items in the premium shop. Can you guess what this new season will be all about? Clash of Tamers. And more. This will be an appetizer. You know there's always more. We balance the price of some items, tweak the rewards in some, Tamer's Paradise act activities, improve performance on the Switch a bit more, sprinkled a few more new items and NPCs here and there, bounce a lot of Tims, techs, and traits, and of course, fixed over 60 bucks. I definitely want to see the notes, but that's definitely exciting that they still continue to fix the bugs and performances, especially for the Switch users. Make sure you read the full post and patch notes when the time arrives. I'll definitely, uh, in the future video, I will definitely go over the patch notes with you guys, but uh, yeah, this is just a sneak peek of the new Tim Tim update that is coming March 6th. So I'm going to end the video here. Let me know if you guys are excited about this new uh, patch update coming March 6th. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.